It's survived two world wars, the Great Depression and Recession. The Grain Exchange Barbershop in downtown Minneapolis opened its doors in 1902 and has stayed open ever since. So it came as a shock when the current owner announced the piece of history is closing for good in two weeks. Danny Spiewak tells us what finally did the 120 year old business in. As time runs out, and I see people from all over the world. Bob Haddo is feeling reflective. Yeah. It's a lot different from working in the neighborhoods. He's only the fifth person since 1902 to own the barber shop inside the historic Minneapolis Grain Exchange. Most of the office towers downtown had barber shops in the lobby. You know, get a shave and a haircut, and then they go up to work. But the days of busy grain traders are long gone. Commodity exchange is still here, but it's electronic. 31st is my last day. Why? For one, COVID changed work habits. Well, that's part of downtown's problem, don't you think? And the rent became too much. Jeez, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's terrible. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go to a place that charges 40 bucks or whatever it is. Right. Customers are losing their safe space. The haircut doesn't break the bank. You get to do a little chit chat. Like it was just, it was awesome. So I think it's a bummer. It's one price. Mm -hmm. There's not five prices. And Bob is losing more than a business. I'm giving up something that is really not transactional. This is a fun place where we hear great stories. The stories will come to an end in a few weeks. God, I gotta get rid of that beard. <laughs> it's not my loss so much as downtown's loss. It's this building's loss. It's our downtown community's loss. In Minneapolis. But they love me in South Minneapolis. I'll probably end up back there. Danny Spiewa, Carol Evan News.